Alright guys, so I almost forgot that tonight Robert Hellenius is actually going to be fighting Johan Dupar. You know, I think this is a great fight, I honestly do. I, I think that people are underestimating this fight. I think I think that people don't understand how, how significant this fight could be for the heavyweight division. Because the winner of this fight will be put in line for a shot at the winner of Deontay Wilder, Alexander Povetkin. Now, I believe that Wilder is going to beat Povetkin. Um, I believe he's going to do it convincingly, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't, but personally, I, I just think that Wilder... I, I just think he has more to bring to the table at this stage than Povetkin. And, and I think that Povetkin, although Povetkin obviously has more experience and has um, been in with better opposition, I just think that the way he fights, you know, that the aggressive style that he has with the hands down and, uh, you know, coming forward trying to, trying to walk his opponent down... I think that Wilder will be landing right hands on the chin at will against Povetkin, and and I think that Wilder will stop Povetkin. Uh, that that that's how I see that fight going. But you know, anyhow, uh, this fight, Robert Hellenius against Dupar. I'm pretty sure this fight's tonight. I'll have to double check. I'm I'm sure it's the second of April that that fight's. So so that will be tonight. I I think this honestly, I'm I'm gonna see if I can find a stream for it or anything because it's not being televised over here, but I think it's going to be a great fight. I just think it's one of those fights where it's um, the kind of matchup that you know is going to be entertaining. You know you, you know that one guy is going to be coming forward, going to be using his jab, going to be trying to walk the other guy down and trying to outwork him, and then the other guy is going to be on his back foot trying to capitalize on his size and trying to land the counters. And I just think it's a good matchup, um, and, and I'm really excited. You know, I love the heavyweight division. Uh, I've always been... a uh, a real admirer of the heavyweight division in boxing. Um, you know, I was a big Klitschko fan for many years. I always tuned in to watch the Klitschko fights. You know, I just think that because in the heavyweight division, you know, that there's more chance of a knockout, uh, and and there's more chance of a, a come from behind knockout as well, because um, these guys are so big and they're so powerful, and and they can get you out with one shot. That there's there's always that intense on edge feeling about a heavyweight fight. So that's why I like the heavyweight division so much. And uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, if if I can't watch it, when it happens, I'll just watch it on YouTube tomorrow and, and I'll enjoy it. You know, um, what do I think that... Obviously, Johan Dupar has already been in with Wilder and he got stopped. He, he gave a good, a good account of himself. He tried his best, but he just wasn't good enough. Wilder ended up breaking him down and getting the stoppage. But the reason why I'm, I'm kind of excited is because I'm, I'm wondering... If Robert Hellenius wins this fight and then matches up with Wilder, how does that fight go? Because I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people seem to think that Hellenius would have a good chance of beating Wilder. You know, a lot of people think that that's a good fight. And I do think it's a good fight. I do think it's an intriguing fight. Uh, who wins the fight? I don't know. Uh, I think that I would probably go with Wilder. And the reason why I would go with Wilder in that fight is because Hellenius, in my opinion... You know, he, he was able to rely on his power several years ago. But when he suffered those injuries, you know, he, he broke his left hand, uh, he injured his shoulder, and, and there's photos out there, you know, that showing that those injuries were legitimate. And, you know, when when he when he picked up those injuries, I think they really damaged him. And, and I don't think he's been the same fighter since. So, you know, I, I just think that against Wilder, I think that only one guy is going to be... The puncher in the fight. I, th I think Hellenius obviously he's still got a lot of weight behind his punches. He's still a big guy. He's still, obviously, can generate power. But you know he doesn't have the kind of snap that Wilder has. You know Wilder has those big cobra-like arms. You know very long arms, very muscular, very tight, and he, and he's very, he's very very sharp with that straight right hand. And I think that he he's one of Wilder's one of these fighters who, you know, you could be outboxing him. And then he can get you out with one punch ten seconds before the end of the fight. He's he's one of those guys. If if he gets you with that straight right hand, at any moment, he can take your head off with it. And that's why you know you can never fully rule Deontay Wilder out in a fight. You know I'm I'm just that I love I love the heavyweight division and and it's at a stage now now that Vladimir Klitschko has pretty much gone. You know his time is gone his, and Vitaly Klitschko's gone as well. But we've got all these young guys battling it out for these belts. And and it's it's going to be good, you know. It's it's going to be good to see all these guys fight. I would love to see uh, Deontay Wilder fight Tyson Fury. Love to see him fight Hellenius. I, I'd love to see all these guys go at it, you know. And I'm I'm really excited to see what happens. I see how the division transpires.